Hey guys, welcome to Pi Game Basics. So today we'll be going over how to create the display. And this is gonna be a really important video because the template that we give you today is going to be what we use for the rest of the series as well as the rest of the channel, really. And it's gonna be the best template for you to use if you're gonna do anything in Pi Game. So first we're gonna start by importing Pi Game. To download Pi Game, I have some instructions in the description that you can look at. And whenever we start Pi Game, we want to always call its init function. This kind of starts up everything behind the scenes for you, so you don't have to worry about it. Now let's actually create the display in a variable called display. So I'll say display equals pygame dot, if I can spell, <laughs> pygame dot display dot set mode. Set mode takes an argument, which is a tuple of the x, y number of pixels that we want on our screen. So I can say a thousand and let's say 600. Now I'm going to go ahead and run this and we get a display on the screen of 1,000 pixels in the X and 600 in the Y. But we want this display to update every frames per second that we give it, so that way we can draw things on the screen, we can uh, have moving objects, things like that. So to do that, let's write an infinite while loop, and the infinite while loop will uh, run every single time we want the screen to update. And so if we want the screen to update, we have to say pi game dot display dot update and then once we get out of this while loop and we'll kind of talk about how we can get out of this while loop we want to quit the display so we can say pygame dot quit to quit the display now the problem here is this while loop is going to run as fast as it wants we want to be able to slow it down to the frames per second that we give it so the way to do that in pygame is by using a clock object which i'm going to store in a variable called clock i'll say pygame dot time dot clock and within this loop, there's a method of the clock object called tick. And then we can run it at a certain frames per second. And I like making the frames per second a variable. And let's just say 50. So I can go ahead and run this. And you can't really see this, but this is refreshing at 50 frames per second. So now the next step we need to do is give the display instructions on what to do when I click the mouse or click the, the keyboard or even press the X button, because right now that's not even implemented. To do that, there's one more type of Pygame object we have to understand, and it's called an event. An event in Pygame is a mouse button click, a keyboard click, or the X button. So what I recommend is we can cycle through all the events that we're getting every frame with a for loop. And the way to do that is by saying for event in pygame.event.get. And then there's an attribute for every event object called type, if event.type, and there's an identifier that refers to each type of event. So we want to implement the X button right now, and the identifier for that is pygame.quit. And notice this quit is capital, while this quit is lowercase. Now, what do we want to do when we click the X button? We want to exit out of this while loop so we can go into pygame.quit. So to do that, we should make the whole while loop a function, and I'm gonna call it game, and then we can return out of the function. Now I do want to point out that you can't say break here because this break would only break out of the for loop, the event loop, and not the full while loop. So that's why we make it a function and say return. And of course, we're gonna make it a function. We need to call the function itself. And now we're ready to run this. And we get a screen and we're able to exit out of the screen at will. So this is how you create a display in Pygame.